Hey Eurovoxers, tonight Malta selected their song and it was Christabel with the song Taboo. <laughs> happy at one. It was the best staging by far. It's one of the only few I remembered. They can copy and paste that for Lisbon if they won't be affected by the LED rule, which is great. And I love Christabel. She's my favourite Maltese singer, so I'm really happy she's going. And I'm glad Aiden did well as well, considering he had to yeah, change his song the last second. Overall, good show, but the best on one. I'm happy that we're uh, Maltese, Malta is sending a song with a message, that it's not just like a random pop lyrics. It has uh, like deep lyrics about mental issues and I think that's a very up-to-date topic and like a lot of influencers are talking about it so I think it's good that Eurovision voices this um, movement now. Um, I mean I think Christabel delivered a very good strong performance on stage. I think hers, her performance stood out against pretty much every other competitor in the Morty Eurovision and I think that's why she won. So again, um, she wasn't my favourite going in, um, but I think overall the balance of performance versus song, I think she was the right winner, and I can fully understand why she was popular with both the judges and the public. Um, I think she's a strong competitor going in, I think she won't suffer from the pressure on the night. Do I again let you think this is either cutting edge enough or um, different enough to necessarily win? too hard to predict at this point, but I think it's a solid entry and I think that it will perform well. And I, I have to pick up on what Clara said about the message of the song. I think it's a really important message. Something that people don't talk a lot about now and something that I'm quite passionate about myself. So I'm glad there's a song out there about mental health, which, which is such an important topic. Again, wasn't my favorite going into the, to the contest, like a few of you have said. Um, however, tonight it really stood out for me, actually. There were a couple of standouts, uh, but this was the one that kind of made me set up and think, actually, this could do really well at Eurovision. I think they're drawn in a tough, tough semi-final. Um, so I think Malta have, have, made, have made the best choice. And this isn't a thing that necessarily will be spoken about most, because it's a bit shallow, but I do think it's the catchiest. Mm. Mm. Like, we were seeing it from... From the start, like the first second chorus, we were all bouncing along. So, so when it when it first came on, I remembered the chorus. I was like, damn it, like I yeah. remember it. Still yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like you remember um, it. It wasn't my favourite going in. But and I do Mal remember it. Most mm -hmm. always get a decent jury score. They're normally in the top ten. It's the televote which lets them down. Also, they don't have the UK and Ireland with them. But yeah. I feel like if the PR team do enough and get this message across, and she delivers like she did, this could qualify for Molson. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of people wrote them off when we saw the draw. When you yeah. see it, but. Yeah, I'm actually feeling pretty happy with Malta. I'm actually pretty confident for them, yeah. hopefully. Mm -hmm. But yeah, this is this is something that needs to be mm -hmm. talked about more in the world. Like, I'm very passionate about it. I'm very happy a song in Eurovision is... You know, I want this in the final purely because 200 million people need to see this message, I feel. And I think the staging of this song is going to be <clears> very important as well to get that message across. Yeah. I don't think it's, you know, very obvious when you listen to the song what the song is about. Obviously, we kind of knew beforehand but they really need to get that across with the stage. Obviously they had the, the kind of the phrases and the words coming up, you know, stronger courage. Um, Seek help, I think yeah. I saw it one of the points. Yeah. Seek help. If you really want to look into the, the lyrics, taboo, the fact that it, the title is called taboo means like, this is how we approach it nowadays. It's still a taboo and we need to break it. And there's like many elements in the song, like this glass uh, box, the she's in first and then the back, the back singers and the dancers are in. I think it's a very, um, it's like very metaphoric of how the situation is being treated nowadays. It doesn't, songs that have messages, those messages don't always come across. Mm -hmm. yeah. And even songs that have really important stuff to say and interesting things to say, the fact of the matter is that a lot of the audience haven't heard these songs before mm -hmm. and unless within that three minutes that you have on stage, mm -hmm. you can get that across in one showing without any background knowledge, 
that message can be a bit lost. Yeah, that's a job, that's multi delegation job, yeah. to make it a more um, spread, to yeah. spread the message. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's very much like France, they need to hit the nail on the head straight away. Because, mm -hmm. yes. well France have a more difficult job because it's in a different language, but they both have very important messages, but they can be easily overlooked, so, yeah. yeah. I have to say that um, the, other, the only um, negative uh, aspect I would about the performance I would point out is like the glass uh, wall, the glass box has been done before. Like we were saying, Eric Sade has done this before mm. in when That's he by Jean <coughs> done it yeah. as well. So. But they, they could change that. Yeah. Else. I'll, I'll I mean, it's a different concept. It's a different concept of a glass box, but still, like the physical element has been there before. So. I think they'll look yeah. at, at doing something something different uh, when they get to when they get to Lisbon. I think in terms of the vocals, the vocals were really good yeah. uh, tonight from Christabel. Mm -hmm. um, she seemed really confident when she was performing. It was nice to see actually when the jury votes were coming in how much uh, mm. kind of you know this, this yeah. means to yeah. her. Yeah. Um, and you know, huge uh, televote score. Oh, yeah. Yeah. she won. Well. She won, got perfect score mm. of the jury. Like all the jurors gave her the twelve points, and then she won the. To televote as well, and you know, she was up against some big names, mm. and it meant a lot to her. Well, so for because she co wrote the song as well. So, you think you know, a lot of people just get in a get in a given a song when they sing, but you can see this means a heck of a lot to her. She's and then it comes, yeah, yeah, and then it comes across, you can tell that she has wrote this song, it means a lot to her. So, yeah, yeah. So, if we, if we were saying thumbs up, thumbs down for this song. Big thumbs up, Christabel. I'm in the <laughs> middle. Double thumbs. Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> four out of five ain't bad. Yeah. But four and a half. half. It's four and a half. It's but guys, we'd love to know what you think. Don't forget to let us know in the comments down there. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to make sure that you see all of our videos. And also don't forget to follow us on social media and let us know what you think. Until next time, guys. See ya. Bye. Bye. Ciao. Thank <laughs> you.